Good morning, good morning, Kingdom King and Priest Peter Spencer Wisdom Speak. I love you, my brother and sister. I love you. Pray today you have an awesome and wonderful day. I love you. Like I said, I love you, my brother and sister. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So today what I want to do is read 1 Corinthians chapter 12 in its entirety, the whole holy writ of, of 1 Corinthians 12, and it reads this wise. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brother, I will not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Now, there are diversity of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are differences of ministration, but the same Lord, and there are diversities of operation, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For the one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracle, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirit, to another diverse kinds of tongue, to another interpretation of tongue. But all these work at that one and the self same Spirit, divided to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one, and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole body whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now have God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased them. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now... Are they many members yet but one body? And I cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. And our uncommonly parts have more abundant comeliness. For our commonly parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given Give a more abundant honor to that part which lack it, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honorable, honor, all the members rejoice with it. Now you are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, government, diversity of tongue. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. The word is already blessed, my brothers and sisters. You awesome. You have an awesome and wonderful day. King and priest Peter Spencer, wisdom speak. I love you.